Someone asked me to make a video regarding Alexandria Cortez um, with the open borders situation and Beto O'Rourke with, hell yeah, we're going to take your AR-15s. But um, what I want to say is this. This is how it goes. The thing with Alexandria Cortez is regardless of her views on the borders, what's most important about her is she's speaking out against corruption and she's actually making headway against corruption. She's doing a very good job of that. That's what makes her so important. Whether I agree with her on open borders or not, I don't. I do agree with Pan-Americanism, and I do agree that there needs to be more done to make it easier for people in the various American nations to get jobs and move freely, law-abiding citizens, to move freely amongst the various American nations. Okay, But no, I don't agree with open borders. Um, but I do think Alexandria Cortez is extremely important to the well-being of this republic because until we fight the corruption, until we get rid of the corruption, we are not going to get anything done. As far as Beto O'Rourke, with a lot of people don't know this because I've never said this, my mother's name was Kathleen O'Rourke, okay? Her name was Kathleen O'Rourke, so... Every day I, I pray that I'm not related, and I'm not a very religious person, as you know. I pray I'm not related to Beto O'Rourke, the anti-white moron, okay? However, what you need to understand is this. The anti-gun and anti-white president that we need to worry about is the one in the Oval Office right now. Uh, Beto O'Rourke is not a threat because Beto O'Rourke has no chance in hell of winning. Um, but Donald Trump has won and Donald Trump is in the Oval Office, and Donald Trump is speaking about just taking people's guns, and Donald Trump is speaking about waging a war on so-called white supremacy. What is white supremacy? Nobody knows. Apparently, it's just white people, okay? White people that like being white is white supremacy, according to the government, okay? Uh, and actually, the Department of Homeland Security and, F and the Department of Homeland Security and the tech companies are um, attacking white activists online, okay? So the, the people we need to worry about, the person that's anti-white and anti-gun, that's the president of the United States right now, he's the one we need to worry about. He's the one we got to get out of office in 2020. Um, Tulsi Gabbard is still the only candidate I'm aware of, de Democrat or Trump, okay? So the incumbent is anti-white, and every one of the Democrats besides Tulsi Gabbard is anti-white. That's one of the main reasons white people need to support Tulsi Gabbard in the 2020. If you're white and you vote for Trump, you're voting for an anti-white Zionist.